I want to be a photographer. A doctor. Doctor. A teacher. I want to be a graphic designer. Um, like teacher job. I want to study mechatronic engineering. Um, I really want to be a lawyer. As we get more technology in the world and in people's lives, it's really critical that young people, as they grow and look for jobs in the future, um, have the skills to work in that environment. And so as this technology change happens, we want to create a nation of technology controllers and creators, not technology users. So this new technology, digital technology curricula is absolutely critical for allowing or helping children of all ages understand how to use technology in a creative way, how to be safe with technology, and how to create new things and create new jobs. So we've been heavily involved in both digital technologies and Hangaro Matahiko and the development of it um, within the curriculum. Um, and the reason we've done that is because the skills and competencies that kids are getting through this program are actually really important today. You now we talk about the future economy or the future society, but it's actually today's society. When you look at computational thinking, for example, it's about how to think like technology. Um, a lot of the learning around computational thinking is not even using a computer to, to do. So it's about how do you think like technology so that the, then you can uh, you can manipulate that technology around you to achieve good outcomes. And this is where it gets really valuable because it's not just about our industry, it's about society as a whole. And pretty much any job that you can think of both today and into the future, you're going to need these skills. So the tech, the tech industry is really excited about the changes to the curriculum. You know, we've wanted it in place for quite some time. And it's because, you know, being at the cutting edge of technology, we also see the change and the difference that technology is making in the world and the difference that people who are you know, comfortable with technology and comfortable to create with technology, the advantages that they have. Māori talent that's coming through that are really looking at how can we solve quite big wicked problems such as climate change um, or financial collapse or uh, environmental degradation um, or how might we protect um, our whakapapa, our genealogy, um, or also look at repositories um, to protect our, our sacred knowledge. Um, how might we equip and make our mātauranga relevant inside tech, and how can tech also be relevant to Māori so that we can use those tools for the future. Um, in the tech space, we're going to need more talent to help us with that, and if we don't have a pipeline of talent, then it's going to be really, really difficult. It also means that we then end up having to import that talent from overseas, so why can't we um, really utilise the talent within our own communities? The other core skills that are really necessary uh, are soft skills. Collaboration is going to be very critical. But the core skills of character is actually what's important moving forward into the future. Are you a good person? Can you communicate? Do you know how to um, be vulnerable? Do you know actually how to uh, collaborate effectively with others? Um, can you be a good leader but also can you be a good follower? And those are the core character skills that should be inbuilt, not just the technical skills. We're facing some big challenges at the moment and um, the need to be able to communicate well, collaborate, um, uh, innovate, look at new solutions to problems. I think these are the skills that we need now and so I think this is an opportunity to develop those. I've seen that even over the last five years is a rapid change in the amount of different types of technologies that are available. It's an ever-changing landscape. More and more you see um, new and emerging technologies being used such as artificial intelligence being incorporated into products, um, internet of things technology are key kind of underlying concepts and um, kind of understandings that um, guide you through using and adopting all of these technologies so things like computational thinking, thinking about how um, data is structured and how you approach problem solving when using these new technologies is if you have a solid grounding in, in that that approach it can help you. We're really excited to be able to launch the digital technologies Hangaro Matahiko in the New Zealand curriculum and Te Marotanga Aotearoa. In our ever-changing digital world, it's really important that we're supporting our young people, children, tamariki to thrive. 
There are both exciting opportunities and challenges with digital change and the pace at which it's occurring. The curriculum is about supporting young people to learn what they need to to be successful citizens. Digital technologies, hangaro matahiko, in the New Zealand curriculum and te maro tanga Aotearoa, isn't about children and young people sitting there using devices all day. It's about children and young people learning to be creative, to innovate, to use technologies responsibly, but also how to create with those technologies, to code, to think critically and to work as teams. There is no one right way for a teacher or a school uh, to get behind the digital technology learning that their young people uh, are and will be doing. Um, there are different approaches that schools and teachers can take and we're here to support that. Uh, we know that many teachers are already embracing digital technology learning and we know that many, many more are beginning that journey. Mm -hmm.